Hey everybody, I'm going to give you a quick rundown on the sewer varmint from Spirit Halloween. It sells for $129.99. I used a 20% coupon. Got it for $111 and some change. Um, if you're thinking of buying it online, I don't know why this box is not very big. Not very big at all. But they're going to charge you the $20 uh, oversized box fee. So if you want it, I suggest picking it up in the store. Um, save you 20 bucks and use 20% coupon that saves you 27 so anyway here we go all right I know what you're thinking Cindy it's supposed to be a setup video and you've already gotten it together well I did that for a reason and you'd be absolutely right there are a lot of screws on this thing that takes you know some time so I didn't want to um, bore you with doing all that so I'm gonna walk you through it when you open the box your board and of course, you know, your control unit, your speaker, um, module box, everything's already connected. All you gotta do is uncurl the tail. And the first thing they want you to do is take each feet, each foot, <laughs> and screw them in. Two screws per foot. Um, they have the back feet labeled, back feet. Um, and you put those on all four sides. All right, after you do that, you're gonna slide the head down into its position. Okay, see that screw right there? It is the only different screw you will get in the bag. It's uh, longer than the rest and it is black where the rest are silver. Um, let me show you something on this side. See that nut right there? That's how you connect it on the other side. That, because it's tight in there with the hoses, his head, everything, that, that that took a little doing. Um, I tried to use some needle nose pliers. Didn't work out so well. Uh, ended up, this was the tools right here that I needed for this build. Okay, you get his head mounted. The hoses just pull back and they fit through these holes um, uh, for the fog machine. After that, they want you to mount this plastic. Okay, now in the instructions, it says to mount the plastic by screwing in a hole here and of course an adjacent hole on the opposite side in your bag of screws is a separate bag that says spare parts there in that bag is two more of these screws now I noticed when I was putting it together on the back of the plastic frame there was a hole in the plastic and in the wood on both sides so obviously you're supposed to screw the back side down as well. Doesn't mention that in the instructions. Doesn't tell you to use the spare screws. But obviously, since it's already pre-drilled, that's what you're supposed to do. So anyway, so that's what it looks like. You connect your wires um, all in there before you put on your plastic body. It's, it's a lot like Cerber Cerberus's build, um, but simpler because it's smaller. All right, and then you're pretty much done. Now all you got left is the faux fur. Um, you set that down on it. I'm not going to sit here on video and take the time to, to wrap it around. I'm just going to show you all of these. It just fits and wraps around your legs. They Velcro together. Oh, sorry. They Velcro around your legs. It Velcros around the body. Um, the right-hand side of the sewer varmint has... The scar um, and once you get it all velcroed down it is good to go now I'll do that later I'm not gonna spend the time right now on video but I did want to plug it in and it's just in case you haven't seen it in action yet let's see what it does um, like I said it's speaker compatible step pad compatible uh, and uh, it's got an IR sensor um, at the top and I'll show you that, of one of the varmint's head. Uh, right there. Right there. So, all right. I don't have it turned up very much. I will turn it all the way up. Okay, of course it quits talking. All right, here we go.
Right. So that's pretty much it. Um, I like it. I, I like it um, for two reasons. I always look for props that if they break, they will still look good as a static prop. And I think this will. Um, and it goes in so many themes. You can put it in an asylum. Um, I'm going to put it on my pirate theme, on my wharf, uh, like a wharf rat. Um, mad scientists, labs, experiment. So that's why I like it. Um, Spirit didn't have all that many this year that I really found interesting. Um, but I like the uh, versatility of this prop. So highly recommend it. And um, I think it's a good price. Uh, especially <laughs> at Spirit. So anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Hope I helped you out some, and um, I'll catch you next video. Thank you. Please like and subscribe.